for this session of the Momagers Inn. We're speaking with Kadara Waller. Kadara has just finished practicing, so he's a little bit tired, but he's uh, giving me all his energy for this interview today. And as we've done in previous uh, articles that I've had on my blog, we've talked about the game, how it affects the player, and then also bringing the family aspect, aspect of the mom in and how her role is important to the career of a basketball player. So, Kadar, how are you? Good. How was that practice session? It looked intense. It was hard. It was hard. What's the hardest part about it? Well, like running and being consistent. You have to make a certain amount of shots to finish with them. So. She wasn't going to let you go unless you finish them too, right? No, no. <laughs> questions I just want to talk to you about and I'm gonna let you go home for the night and get your homework done because that's important yes. and get some rest. I am a friend of your mom's and I was at the house one day, went to the bathroom and on the wall in the bathroom there was like instructions on how to be a point guard, inspirational quotes. Tell me a little bit about that. Well like when I wake up in the morning and like you know basic like stuff I just look at the uh, inspirational speeches and stuff because that motivates me in the morning to work hard in school and basketball and etc. Like different quotes from different great people like Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and different people. Tell me one of those quotes. My favorite quote is, well I like all of the quotes to be honest. You like all of them? Yes okay. ma'am. Which one is your mentor or your favorite player? Do you have one? Well, I'm sure you do. My favorite player is Alan Iverson because I like really old school how I play. And Michael Jordan is the best player, but Alan Iverson is my favorite. What do you like about Alan Iverson? How he played because he handled the jump shot. Remind me of my favorite. I'm a huge AI fan too. Uh, back in the day, he was one of my favorite players as well. But he also had some career troubles throughout the way. A lot of it has to do with his family or sometimes his attitude, unfortunately. What do you think as uh, a basketball player or as a, uh, an athlete, you can do better so that those things don't happen to you? Working hard, but he didn't go to practice. That's crucial, right? He has a problem with practice, but I like practice. It does the practice get me better and your teammates better. They work hard and work respect and practice. I like that. I really like that. So that's your philosophy on practice. And how often do you practice every week? Like four times a week and then usually I have a tournament. because you're not just playing here locally in Bakersfield. Yes, we got good talent here in Bakersfield. You go all across the country and you play, right? And what team do you play with? I play for Team Superstars, which is the new And I play for h Magic. Okay. And that is your traveling team where you go to Utah? Is that yes. the you play? How's that? For, now, how old are you? You're in the seventh grade. Thirteen. Thirteen. That's a lot for a thirteen-year-old. Well... Like, I have chemistry with the team, so when I travel, it's not like my own, so it's like my And do you ever get nervous, like, for a game, or if you're meeting a new teammate, or a new team? Are you ever nervous? Well, new team, I'm nervous, but when we come to a game, I'm not that nervous, because I know that I have to do what I have to do and help my teammates help me win the game, and, like, they have my back. Kind of jail and figure it out how it's going to work. Yes. Okay. Now your mom is one of your biggest cheerleaders. Is she the biggest cheerleader? The biggest cheerleader. And can you hear her when you're on the court yelling your name? Of course, you hear. Like that's the only thing you hear. <laughs> when it's a packed game, there's one voice you're going to hear. Is Arlena Wall? Yes. And what is she saying? Well, uh, usually she don't know what she's saying. She doesn't know the game. See, I get that a lot. You 
know, I get that I don't know what a travel is, I don't know what a file is, but I'm, you know, I'm cheering that my son on. So it still makes you feel good though, right? Yes. Are there times where you're like, be quiet? Well, sometimes. Yeah. Because it's embarrassing? Okay. But you know, as a mom, as a momager, that's what we do. Because we're so proud of you. You guys work so hard. We see you work so hard. And, and she and your dad have given up not only financially, but emotionally. It's hard for them to let you go and, and do your thing. And what would you like to say to them? Because they do do that. I would like to say, like, thank you for sending me tournaments and sending me, like, paying for fees and stuff. It's really expensive. And actually giving me money for the tournament, too. It's for, like, spam and food and stuff. But, like, they do a lot for me. It's, like, great for them. That's so sweet. So, Mother's Day was two weeks ago. What did you do for your mom? Well, we had breakfast together the night before. You made breakfast for dinner? Yes. Okay. And I bought, we bought her a bag and a well, purse and a wallet for Mother's Day. And we like, took her to dinner and we watched her. Well, we just did where she was mostly going to dinner. Okay. okay. It was her day. Yes. Very nice. I don't know if she appreciated it. Very cool. All right, just one last question. Um, it's a huge sacrifice what you're doing. What advice would you give to other middle school uh, athletes that want to be where you are? What kind of advice would you give to them? Uh, just to work hard and keep your grades and stay in the gym. Because if you have your grades right, you can focus more on basketball with school concerns. Out to Reno for the basketball tournament with my A train magic team. And just all week we'll be here working out. And that's pretty much it this week. And school ends next Thursday. Yes, are you excited about that or what? Yes, <laughs> I think everybody is. So, Kadar, I'm going to be watching. Everybody's going to be watching. No pressure, though. I'm not putting no pressure that's on right. you. <laughs> but we're proud of you and glad that uh, you have such a passion at a young age and you can share it with all of us in the world and we wish you well and hope for great success for you. Good luck for your tournament this week. Yes, thank you. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Are you an athlete in middle school, high school, or college, or a professional athlete interested in being interviewed for the Momager is In series? If so, please contact the Curry Momager at currymomager.inquiries at gmail.com or follow on Instagram or Twitter at Curry Momager.